Hello, and welcome back to Storytime Gamer. We're going to continue playing Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Looks like there's some drowners up ahead, and we're also going to find Johnny to try to figure out what happened out here in the woods with the, the witches, the crones. Who the hag? Not a water hag. Oh, she fights dirty. If Johnny's real, he must be Prince. Let's see if we can find some. Oh, hello. A storm, damn it. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. Ow. Okay. A lot of extra noise going on. Let's see. Footprints are this way. Whose footprints are these? This way. Ah, here Tracks we go. Tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucker? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. All right, let's follow Johnny. Ew. Wish he ran a little faster, but it's okay. Watch out! Num num num. Stay close to me. Come on, there we go. Let's try to loot him. It just wouldn't let me do it. Johnny, you can run fast in this, surely. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. <laughs> Okay. Ow. 
Come on, we can Skyrim our way up. Oh, harpies! This will be fun. Ow! Nice! Wow, definitely a lot uglier in this game, in this update. Alright, let's see what's going on. Ooh, wow, there's a dragon of some sort over there. A wyvern, I think. Maybe he meant this bottle. I'm trying to remember if I could see it see that there before. Man, oops. Oops, don't die. Ooh. by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, cause word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang, so loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice. So I don't think she heard me. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers. And you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her. Got my ways. So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. Come with me. Alright, Johnny, let's go. Well, come on. Quit running in the trees yourself. And run faster. Oh, look, it's where we left Roach before. Damn it. Nope, wrong one. <laughs> you want some of this drowner? Hang your head from my saddle. Dang. All right, come on, Johnny Five. But first, yep, want some of that. All right, where are we going?
You have a weird path here, dude. C come on, come on. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazing, fire waning pale. Pop! A spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. Yo. Got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Can you take me to the crowns? Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No, she's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise, he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Thanks, Johnny. Now go poop in peace. Johnny's a good, good lad, though the ladies don't like him. No, foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen-haired girls. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. 
Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger! And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. <laughs> Oh, you mistress, right, on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger, for you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is, the dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear. Stone nose. Stone ears. Ooh, went up a level. Hooray! Ah. Excuse me. I'm trying to loot your stuff. Hey, what's uh oop. What's down here? Weep. Whoa. That's creepy. Hey, there's some money. Creep, creep, creepy, creepy, creepy. Ooh, that's good. All right, let's get out of here. So I think the crones are one of my favorite um, creatures or, I guess, monsters in this game. Their designs are really cool once we meet them. Um... And they're just, I, their voices and everything else are really, really cool. Alright, so we have a task to do. We have to help with something uh, evil. Or dark, as they said. And then talk to this guy here. village. Aye. A real pearl of the swamps, if you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock they lie. Unburied, all fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Ladies of the Wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folk stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Not planning to. Come on, Roach. Oh, there you are. How convenient to pop up right in the way go, I was going to go. go. Alright. Come on, Roach. Excuse me, Mr. Bandits. Oh, they didn't seem to care about me at all. Oh, I'm gonna skip over you guys. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Nope, oh, going the wrong way here. Let's, uh... Put that on the map, too. Because that seemed interesting. Because if I remember, I think it might be a place of power. I can go by foot. Oh, 
face of time. Oh. To draw from me. Oh, well, look. I think it's a werewolf. The powers will not relent. Ow. Uh, oh, he's about to hit me. I need some, I think, hybrid oil. Where is it? There it is. And I think Moon Dust. Yeah. Ow. Oh, jeez. Come over here and get some of this, uh, moon dust. There we go. He's pretty strong. Good that moon dust is working. He can't regenerate. That stench. Good. Let's just talk about it, okay? Nothing to get scared about. The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come. Oh, no, Geralt, come on now. There you go. Why have you come? Why spill this blood? Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? I was attacked. This is my prison. A fortress besieged. Murderers I await. And my forest protects me. Murderers? Murderous sisters. Killed my body. Now my soul they hunt, for I defy them. Who are you? I abandoned my circle, where I kept the balance. The crones killed me and cursed my ghost. Never heard of a druid circling Velen. I wander eternally through a maze of vows, helplessly sliding or rusting me. Why did they kill you? The crones want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. I had to die. You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here. In fetters of magic, I wandered endlessly. A loveland of me, the children. I know all. I know what brings them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I can't be a girl. A gallop of unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. Why do you think the kids from the meadow are in danger? The sisters took them. They shall not return. Where'd they take them? I 
can help. It is done already. It cannot be undone. There are no rules to add serpent. They shall all die. Let them be saved. If you can save the orphans from the meadow, I'll help you. I will find them. Free them. Open the door of my cage. Blood is my escape. A right you must perform with the black of raven feathers, the white of my bones, and the swift steed. A bear, wild and free, in meadows pasture cold, dark as a bottomless well, black as the depths of night. Such a beast, no other. Gather these. Bring them here. Got some raven feathers. Find my remains and bring me a mount. A wind-born steed, a black squall turned horse. Where'll I find your remains? My bones. They lie in a solitary mound nearby, due west. Why do we need a black horse? The beast and I shall be as one. As when I lived, we shall be a gale. Nothing to stop us. A wild steed from meadows moist. I'll gather what I need to free you, then return. Gather and return to the Illumic's depths. To the tree's rotten heart. Pierce my heart. Let the blood flow to be born again. I must first be consumed. Go now and return through the passage I have opened. All right, we have a couple little objectives here. In the past, I've done it both ways where I saved this tree spirit. And I've attacked it, and there's actually a way you can come here before you even see the ladies and do all this. It's quite interesting, but for right now, we're going to say that's it for today. So thanks for watching Storytime Gamer. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks.